Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at the same basic contact form as in the earlier tutorials, but we're going to add to it a capture. I'll open it up, that just takes a second or two. We're going to go into the Setup tab, and we're going to look at the anti-spam actions group here. Notice this is the basic actions group, each of these headings opens up another group. If you open up this group you can see that there are actually 10 different settings in here. There's a capture, a honeypot, no capture, which is the Google new Google capture, the old Google recapture, and the security question. And those are five different ways in which you can add a capture to your form. Which is best for you is an unanswerable question. You have to decide that based on your users. Probably at the moment the most popular ones are the Google No Capture and the Chronoforms built-in capture. Personally I like the Honeypot because it's invisible to the user. We'll look at adding the Google No Capture into this form here. First thing we need to do is to go back to the designer and scroll down and we need to add in uh, an element here in the form that will generate the no capture code. You'll see captures in the basic group, recapture and no capture, they both use the same one, are in the advanced group. We'll edit it, but there's actually nothing to edit except uh, we'll add a please here. Close that off. Then in the form setup we need to put the load no capture into the on load event. Move it up before the HTML render form. And we're going to put the check no capture in the on submit event. We're going to drag that up. We want it to be the first thing that's checked before we do anything else. As it is it will do nothing because both the success and fail will fall through to the next action. So we need to add an event loop action into that pink on fail box. By default that event loop will loop back and reload the on load event which is exactly what we want. For Google no capture there are two other things that we need to do. You have to get a pair of Google codes, a site code and a secret code that are specific to your domain. So we open up the load Google No Catcher and we have to put in here we have to put in here a code that I'm going to copy from somewhere off screen. There it is. And in the check we have to put the secret code that matches that, which I'm also going to copy from over here. There you go. So now if we save that form. test it. There we have, please enter the code. Oh, I made a mistake. We need to move that up before the submit button. Let's do that. Go back to the designer, drag it up before the submit button, save the form again. Notice how easy it is to change these things most of the time. Refresh the form here. And there we have it. Now it's quite hard to submit this wrongly. Um, if we try and submit without doing that, we need some entries in here. We get a message saying the recapture was incorrect. Please try again. That message is set up in the load capture mess oh sorry in the check capture. That message is set up in the check capture message here. It says recapture the uh, no capture. And we'll just say please try again. Capture If 
we submit again, the message has changed. That's it. You have a capture in your form. The others work in almost exactly the same way. The only one that is different, if you use the honeypot, it doesn't need anything on the front end. That's automatically added by the load honeypot action, so there's nothing you need to do in the designer tab. If you use the security questions, you have to provide a list of questions, and they could be whatever you like, but uh, you know, sheep are white, one and one equals two, and chronoforms will randomly choose one of the questions from the list you provide and show that to be answered. I suggest you explore. That's it. Thank you.